right, y'all. So we're about to find out more in-depth information as to why Venus no longer actually competes. So, yeah, we're going to be checking that out. Let me know your thoughts. Do you want to see more competitive from Venus or do you think that this is a great decision? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And, yeah, let's jump into it, y'all. <laughs> diba yung pinaka, uh, pinaka gist ng question niyang mahaba? Uh, wala na daw ba tayong hunger or gutom mag-champion? Yeah, tapos nung nabasa ko yun, parang nung ko na-realize uh, kung gaano na ako kapagod sa social media. Uh, Sabi ko sa kanya, kinoment ko. Parang nandun na kasi ako sa point na kailangan kong mamili. Mm. Championship or peace of mind. I get it. Like, championship or peace of mind. Because no matter what you do, people are always going to have something to say. So, it's like, if you lose, if you take that L, like, everyone's going to be getting at you, talking trash about you, blaming you. Because um, it really doesn't matter. Like, as long as you're the superstar, it doesn't matter who else plays bad or who else makes mistakes or anything like that. You're going to be the focus if you're the biggest name, if you're the biggest brand, if you're the biggest you know, person there, it's always going to be people dissecting what you do as opposed to even just fair treatment to the team as a whole. So I can see how that would be frustrating being the biggest name. Like, look at Kyrie. Anytime Kyrie makes mistakes or anytime something happens with Onik, Kyrie is the one who takes the blame for it. Even if it's not even a mistake, even if it wasn't nothing that he did, it's like that's just that's the cost of literally being the the biggest name within a uh, um, um, an organization. So, yeah, that's crazy. Sabihin natin na, o oh, sige, magkukumpit kami. Pero, anong kapalit? Especially sa akin, sa so kung gaano kami kabunot lagi pag kami yung nandun sa scene. To the point na every week, wala kang peace of mind. Ang pinaka peace of mind mo na lang, manalo ka. Kaya ako, nung, ano, nung, nung naglalaro pa ako, wala akong ibang gusto kung hindi manalo. Kasi eh, yun lang ang nakapagbigay sa akin ng peace of mind, ang manalo. Pag talo ka, lahat yan. Manalo. Kung sa gutom at sa gutom lang, kung sa competitive at sa competitive lang, aba, G na G ako. Gustong gusto kong maglaro. Pero... So the competitive energy is still there. It's just the, the toxicity of the community and everything that comes with it. Which, I mean, I can see why that's, that would be frustrating, but it is a cost. It's a cost to be at the top. It's a cost... Like, that's what happens. People are going to judge you. People are going to talk about you. People are going to, but people are going to do that anyway. So do you want to do what you love? And do you want to be successful at what you love? Or do you want to listen to what people have to say? Because people are going to have something to say regardless. Like, people are always going to talk. So I'd rather live the life that I want to live and let people talk while I'm living my best life. But I, I, I would rather just do that. I would rather, you know, live the life I want to live than to to sit here and live a life that I don't want to live just so I don't have to hear people talk because people are comfortable with the life that I'm living. Like, I don't give a damn who's comfortable with the life that I'm living as long as I am. I don't care what someone else thinks. It's, it's about what I think. It's about what I'm doing, what I what my plans are. Like, that's what's important. So you, you got to learn to, you know, have that mindset towards life because you only have one life to live and you don't want to regret anything. Like... If you if you are really meant and born to compete, you have to compete because at the end of the day, when you're older, you're the only one who's going to regret not competing when you had the opportunity. You're the only one who's going to be wondering, oh, what would have happened if I did this? What would have happened if I did that? You don't ever want to have to wonder what would have happened if you did something. You want to do everything. Like, you can take a loss. Like, it's fine taking losses sometimes. You can recover from a loss. You you can't ever recover from not knowing what would have happened if you would have tried, you know? So, yeah. Like ko tatanong sarili ko, at what point, at what cost pa yung magiging competitive ko? Kung may you can't let other people mentally exhaust you in the first place. It's very important not to let other people mentally exhaust you. Um, It's not that deep. It's not that important. Like I said, everyone's going to have opinions. Everybody's going to have their perspectives. Just because they have a different perspective to you doesn't even mean that they're right. The only person who knows what's right for you is you. You're the one and only person who knows what's right for you. So no one else's opinions matter, whether it's an opinion you agree with or disagree with. Ne neither side matters. The only opinion that matters is yours. And if you do something that turns out to be a mistake, then you will learn from that 
and you won't repeat that in the future. It's very simple. Life is very simple. Live the best life that you want to live. Live some live a life that you'll be proud of. Mentally, sobrang durog na durog ako. Yes. Pero alam mo kung yung kinalulungkot ko dun sa part na uh, gusto lang gusto ko lang na piso mind gusto lang namin ni Wise ang peace of mind is yung ki- like true peace is going to be found when you have peace throughout the chaos. When there's a lot of toxicity going on, when people are talking and saying all types of crazy stuff, but even with all of that, you're still at peace. You're still happy. You're still content. Like that's another level of living life to the fullest because nothing that anyone says can kind of nudge you off track or deter you or anything like that. So you always have this clarity and peace that it's just never ending. It can't be affected by one thing or another. You're in full control. Having that control is very important. Kino kumpara ka mini wise sa ibang players for example bakit naman si Carl Tizi season 2 pa lang yan until now naglalaro pa rin never nagpahinga yan mm. bakit naman si Pew bakit naman si Pew ito panira na bakit naman si Baloy na over si pa nga bakit naman si ano si Edward di naman nagpapahinga o binubuhat pa rin yung Black Rose until now di naman nagpahinga oh maganda yung comment doon ako doon ako na doon ako na nakikinis na ano ba hindi niyo maintindihan But you realize a lot of these people don't take breaks, though, because you would probably be playing Mobile Legends anyway. So you got this huge opportunity. You don't need a break. Like, regular players don't be taking breaks from Mobile Legends. People just have been playing. People play their favorite games just forever, as long as they can. So, like, if you don't need a break from that, the needing a break is a symptom. It's a symptom that you're taking something too serious. You're, you're listening to something negative too much. Like you care too much about what's being said. Like you, you don't need a break from just playing the game. You need a break from the things that that surround the game. But that's the cost. That's the cost. People are going to talk. People are going to speak. That's that's what competitive is. People are always speaking about competitors. LeBron, Michael, Michael Jordan, LeBron, Kobe. Like it's always these debates. Always going to be people talking. Like you can't spend time listening to what people are saying. You have to spend time being the best you you can be. Maybe you're not ever going to be the best in the world. Maybe you are destined to be the best in the world. Either way, it doesn't matter. As long as you're working every day to be your best self, that's all that actually matters. I think that getting caught up in the noise that people are saying, it's just noise. It's just words. They're going to talk. Let them talk, but live your life. That's it. That's, that's all that really matters. Live your life. Iba-iba kami ng pinagdaanan pagdating sa prosin. Iba-iba kami ng level ng hate na na-receive, ng toxicity na na-receive. You might receive different levels of hate and toxicity, but you would never know that because why are you looking at the hate someone else receives and why are you looking at the hate you receive? Focus on your goals. Focus on the things that you got going on. What does any of what does anyone's level of hate have to do with you? Like they can hate you all day long and I understand it's not normal It's, it's something that you got to get used to being able to just block out noise and toxicity. But when you are in this industry, you have to learn how to block it out and focus on what's important because what someone thinks of you is not going to help you win. It's not going to help you win at all now. And then people giving you the advice that matters, the advice that is going to come from people close to you where you won't be reading a comment section where, Oh, maybe your rotation was too slow. You did this in game. You did that in game. Some of those comments will be valuable. There will be valuable information in there. But you have to have a circle around you that you can trust. You can get the information from your coaches and things like that to where anything valuable being said can come from the people that's in your circle so you don't have to care what anyone else is saying. Like, it's really that simple. Like, just don't stop comparing levels of hate and toxicity and things like that because it don't matter what someone is saying about you. People have to just stop caring. People say a lot of things. It don't make it true. It don't make it true. So, and even if it is true, who cares? Why are they sitting around talking about what's true for you? The reason that people do that is because they're avoiding their own problems and the things that's true for themselves. So they would rather spend their time focused on bashing you or hating you and things like that because, yeah, it's easier to hate you than it is to face whatever they're going through in their own lives. So you got to just realize people is going through stuff and a lot of people cope with toxicity. They want to find something to be toxic about and you're their victim. That's it. Don't be nobody's victim. 
Don't be nobody's victim. You, it shouldn't be an option for you to be somebody's victim. Never. Mm-mm. Parehas man kami ng destinasyon, pero iba-iba ang lubak na dinaanan namin. Totoo. Gets nyo? Yun yung... Ako isa lang talaga nagpapastay sa akin sa, ano, sa scene eh. Ano? Yung mga supporter talaga, lalo nung na, naglalaro pa kami. Kasi pagka, alam mo yung pagka may sumusuporta talaga sa'yo, mm. yung mga family mo yun, mga supporter natin, yung nasa isip ko nung pagka may supporter ako, sarap maglaro, sarap ipakita yung best mo kasi yeah. alam mo may sumusuporta. Ito, ito, ito. Ayan na. Sabi niya, kung, ma- kung malaki sahod niyan, peaceful mind, matic, no problem. Which is may point siya. May point naman. Kaya nga, kaya nga yun yung part na competitive ka, kumikita ka, or nandun ka sa peace of mind, pero may kinikita ka pa rin. Mm. Kaya parito nga yung narinig ko kay Carl. Kung may option <laughs> naman na magpahinga, Tapos may financial stability kayo. Why Bakit not choose that, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, uh, well, I mean, this is a gaming community. A lot of the people are very young. A lot of the, a lot of the, the kids in the community is just young. It's young getting, you know, getting this type of exposure and hate and stuff like that for the first time. It happens. It happens. You got to learn how to deal with that stuff and you have to keep pushing forward. Because it's only your career, and you can't take a break when you're hot. Like when you, you, I mean, you can, but it's never going to be the same. When you have traction, when you have steam, when you have people interested and who love you, keep going full force. Because you may never get that opportunity again ever. So when you come back, things may not be the same, and that's why you should you shouldn't take breaks. In my opinion, like that's just my opinion. But yeah, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.